In this video, we'll focus on how to increase contrast for your diffuse and your speckle map. So let's go ahead to Content Browser and open up the Material Editor. So let's increase contrast for our diffuse map. For this, we need a power node. So type in power in the Material Expression panel. Grab the power node, left click and drag into the working area. Now let's position the diffuse and move the power in front of it. And we need a constant one node. So hold down one and left click and let's set it to one. This is going to be the default of the diffuse of what we see if we don't have power and a constant node. So I'm going to plug constant into the exponent of power. This is going to control how much contrast we give the diffuse. Now let's take our diffuse and plug it into the base. Now let's take power and plug it into the diffuse slot of the material. Nothing changed and if we decrease our constant to a lower value, let's say 0.2, it's going to blow everything to white. We want to set this above 1. It's going to really increase the contrast of our diffuse. So it's too much, so let's do something more manageable, 1.2. And it just gives the diffuse more color and increases its contrast. So let's go ahead and move these up a little bit. And we can also use and increase contrast of a certain color of our diffuse. So instead of using a constant one, let's go ahead and delete this. And I'm going to use a constant three vector. Hold down three and left click. This will give us an RGB channel for red, green and blue. So let's go ahead and plug our constant three vector into the exponent. And let's change these values to one. This will reset our diffuse to the default. And now, if we want to give contrast and add a certain color as we increase contrast, we'll need to change the RGB values. So let's say we want to have more of a greenish tint added to our contrast within the diffuse. So for that, we'll either need to decrease the green channel to let's say 0.8, or a better way is to increase the other two channels, the other two colors to a higher value than one let's say 1.3 for red and 1.3 for blue. So a constant three vector allows you to control the red, the green and the blue channel. And with the power node, you can increase the contrast of each individual channel. So let's switch it back and input just a regular vector one constant. And let's plug it back into exponent and change it to 1.2. Let's go ahead and save and take a look at what it looks like in the level. Let me show you what's happening when we increase contrast by using a power expression. It is the same as if we were adjusting levels of the texture and increasing its contrast. So let's go ahead and increase contrast of our speckle map. So let's jump in into material editor. And if you simply want to brighten your speckle map, use multiply node and a constant node. Let's position these. Let's change this to 1. Let's plug it into B of multiply and let's plug our specular into A and let's connect multiply right into specular. I'm going to disconnect the fuse so we can see what's happening better with our spec map. And by increasing the constant, we'll be able to brighten our specular. If we want to increase the contrast of the specular, let's use a power node. And let's insert a constant vector. Let's position power here. We need to take our specular and move it back here. I'm going to plug specular into base of power. Change our vector to 1, the default value. Plug it into exponent. And plug in our power right into multiply. It's going to be exactly the same as we see now. Now if we increase our power our contrast to a higher value. It's going to darken the texture and with the multiply we can brighten and control how bright we want the contrast to be. So what's happening is we are taking our specular and we are turning down some of the gray areas and we are brightening some of the whites. So let's bump it up to a higher value. This is going to darken even more and then let's increase the brightness to make those whites pop even more. 
So this is another option you have with your spec color. But if you simply want to brighten your spec map, just simply use the multiply, a constant, and a spec map. So let me re-plug this back in. Let's go ahead and save and see what it looks like. And let's reconnect our diffuse. One more thing we may want to add is a constant clamp. Because we are blowing out our whites and using these high values, we may need to clamp those values using a constant clamp. This will bring the values and the range between 0 and 1. It won't change how our texture looks, but it will simply normalize our values. So let's move this all the way out. Put the constant clamp in front of multiply. In its properties, we have a minimum and maximum between 0 and 1. That's what we want. Plug multiply into constant clamp and then constant clamp into specular. Here's what we had before. Before we used a constant clamp, you can see some of these whites are being blown out. And then with constant clamp, it tones it down within a acceptable range between 0 and 1. So this is how you tweak contrast for your diffuse and adjust contrast and brightness for your specular.